So let's talk about trimethoprim sulfamethazole because it just doesn't play nice with a lot of other medications. Now, where I work, this is not an antibiotic that we prescribe that often just due to local resistance patterns. But if it is something that you have to prescribe, it's probably good to know what medications your patient is on to ensure that you're not going to have one of these bad interactions. So for example, if your patient's on warfarin, you can make your warfarin super therapeutic and you can get increased bleeding. If your patient's on phenytoin for seizures, you can get toxicity from the phenytoin when it interacts with the trimethoprim sulfamethazole. Patients who are diabetic on sulfonylureas can also get hypoglycemia just from a drug-drug interaction. And finally, for our patients who are on ACE inhibitors, ARBs, or spironolactone, you can get increased hyperkalemia. So the next time you're going to prescribe trimethoprim sulfamethazole, make sure you go over your patient's medications to ensure that you can avoid any of these drug-drug interactions.